glory to master jesus what a beautiful day it is to be alive welcome to our very short devotional faith credo and i'm so excited to have you join me let's share a word of prayer father we thank you we give you glory we trust that today you will cause your word to have impact in our lives and destinies in jesus name amen beloved once again you are welcome and straight away i want to you know share this with you our team is my peace his deal my peace his deal our anchor scripture is isaiah 53 verse 5. let's hear the word of god but he was pierced for our transgressions he was crushed for our iniquities upon him was the chastisement that brought us peace and with his wounds we are healed isn't it amazing in this era where people are so troubled and there's all kinds of things that is happening to take away our peace to know that the king of kings and the lord of laws is our peace you know there's a limit to what man can endure but for god his love for humanity is simply incomprehensible it is beyond understanding such that he was so willing to pay for our peace with his life in first peter chapter 2 verse 24 it says for he himself bore our sins in his body on the cross so that we might die to sin and live for righteousness by his wounds you have been healed precious one if you have this understanding that your peace is coming from the lord your peace is not dependent on the circumstances around you your peace is not dependent on your achievement is not even dependent on how people see you feel about you or think about you or even what you yourself think it is dependent on the lord we have this understanding it will help you to live at peace with yourself and make progress in life jesus gave us peace jesus healed us and most importantly jesus supplies every of our need and guess what it is God's promise for all of us the only criteria is that we believe and accept jesus as our lord and personal savior if you do you have access now how do i do this is the question because a lot of people want to assess the goodness of god they want to assess what god have for us without actually having uh, you know the the right to such privileges that we we enjoy in the kingdom of god how do you have this access it's very simple Romans chapter 10, verse 9 to 10, outline the simple criteria to have access. Let's just hear this word. Romans 10, 9 to 10, and I read, If you confess with your mouth that Jesus is Lord, and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. For it is by believing in your heart that you are made right with God. And it is by confessing with your mouth that you are saved. Going to church doesn't give you the access. Joining in praises and worship doesn't give you the access. Pretending to be a believer doesn't give you the access. Even saying the words that you think are common doesn't give you the access. But what gives you access to this unique kind of peace is by you believing in the lord jesus christ as your lord and personal savior and confessing saying and you have access as a matter of fact john chapter 1 verse 12 have this to say said but as many as received him to them gave he power to become the sons of god even to them that believe on his name as many as as many as and that includes anybody that will really want to believe hallelujah now beloved what he says to one he also says to another and as 
The book of Colossians chapter 3 verse 25, the B part of, of it says, God have no favorites. God have no favorites. What he's saying to your brother, he is saying to you. If only you can have access and by creating or accepting him as your Lord and personal Savior, you have the same access that I have, that every other person have to the promises of God. And that promise includes the peace of mind, which you need at this moment. I pray that you will make up your mind to receive this Savior and you may have access to peace. And may that peace settle every question about your life that you have been asking. And out of that depressing pit that you find yourself, may God pick you out and establish you in Jesus' name. Amen. Question for the week. What is taking away your peace in life? Is Jesus the Lord of your life? And are you walking in the fullness of his promises? Action point. Write down seven promises of peace from scriptures today. Take them as daily capsules by meditating on them for the next seven days. Hallelujah. And I'm sure you're going to come back with a testimony. Hallelujah. Now, Bible reading for this week, day one, Isaiah 53 verse 5 and Isaiah 26 verse 3. Day 2, John 14, 27 and Philippians 4, 6 to 7. Day 3, Leviticus 26 verse 6 and Numbers 6, 26. Day 4, Psalm 119 verse 165 and Psalm 55 verse 18. Day 5, Isaiah 9, 6 to 7 and Romans 5, 1. Day 6, Isaiah 52, 7, and Isaiah 54, verse 13. And finally, day 7, Jeremiah 33, verse 6, Luke 1, 79, and Romans 14, verse 9. Shall we pray? Whoever that is troubled, whoever that is having challenges, whoever that has any kind of depressing situation that is weighing you down, I pray the peace of God shall come over you. Even as you lay hold of Christ, today there shall be something different and you shall be set free from that depressing um, situation and you have peace to live your life to the fullness in Jesus' mighty name. Be blessed and have a peaceful time this week in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you. Reverend Julia is a counsellor, children's church minister, conference speaker, and a teacher of God's word, grace with a healing anointing. For bookings and updates on her messages, devotionals, and related events, please call 055-081-2255 or 020-77-582227. Or send an email at rev.juliaoju at gmail.com. Like and follow her social media handles on Facebook, YouTube, and Instagram at Rev Julia Oji. So she comes your way again with another session of the Faith Cradle. Stay strong and favored. God bless you. Connect with Apostle Freddie and Julia Oji for a heavenly experience of glory with a host of other believers at the Miracle Revival Chapel International. Friend, join any of our services on the days on your screen. A divine encounter awaits you. God bless you.